Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I will be doing a fragrance haul. Before we get started, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Please hit the like button and activate the notification bell. And without further ado, let's jump right into this haul. So the first thing I hauled is Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. I love this box. I love the color of it, how fuzzy and velvety it is. Just beautiful. And I've been waiting a long time to buy this one. The bottle looks like so. It has the gold serpent wrapped around it. I just think it's stunning. I love the color of the juice. So to be honest with you, I was so afraid to get this fragrance because I kept hearing about the popcorn note, which really intimidated me because I had this fear that I would smell like I just spilled popcorn all over myself and I just didn't want to smell that way. So I slept on it. So my curiosity finally got the best of me. I saw some reviews. Uh, one was by Paula Bianca here on YouTube. Another one was by Emmy's World of Fragrance. And they both really liked this and enjoyed it. And uh, I decided, hey, let me just pull the trigger, do this. And I did. I'm so glad that I did. Oh my gosh. Wow. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> this fragrance, guys, smells so intoxicating so yes the popcorn note is part of it but it doesn't last throughout the whole journey of this fragrance it's not there throughout the entire wear and it's not as pronounced as i was afraid it would be so i'll read the notes to you first this has ylang ylang sweet vanilla peach orange blossom amberwood coconut white musk and popcorn and i'll spray some on So in the opening, I get that buttery, salty, sweet popcorn. And it's so delicious. It's so gourmand. It's so different from anything else that I have smelled, anything else out there. Because what other brand puts a popcorn note in their fragrance? I mean, I have to hand it to Popcorn Bond for creating this. I think it's beautiful. Oh, I'm getting that popcorn note and it's so edible. It's so delicious. It makes me want to go to the movies and grab a big tub of popcorn. Of course, the theaters are closed right now, but it also brings back memories of going to the movies, which I miss so much and having that huge tub of popcorn with your drink and stuffing my face with it, basically. Oh my God. And then it just dries down to this beautiful orange blossom scent. I don't pick up notes of coconut in here. So well blended. I am sure that it contributes to the overall effect of it. And it's beautiful. This could be niche. It's definitely niche quality, niche type of scent. Not something you often get in designer brands. So really love this. I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. Again, this is Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. The next fragrance I have here is Santal Majuscule by Serge Luton. I bought it as a tester unboxed and this was sold out at all the online places where I get my niche perfumes and just my designer ones too. And I couldn't find this anywhere. It's so popular. It was just sold out everywhere. Finally, I was notified via email that this is back in stock. Of course, I jumped on it and I'm so happy that I did. So the notes in here are cacao with a dark chocolate sweetness. There's the mask rose, sandalwood. And upon spraying, I get that initial blast of cacao. It comes through, it's very prominent. 
I get the rose, it's a sweet type of rose. And this scent is so aromatic, it's decadent, it's deep, it's complex, it's sensual, it's earthy from the sandalwood. It's just beautiful. It just dries down to this creamy sandalwood. And this is a very comforting, very cozy type of scent, especially this time of year. I have to say, that the lasting power in this is not as good as my other Sergio Tante. I don't know why that is. Um, I would imagine this one to really be beast mode when it comes to performance. And at first it is beast mode. It's a strong fragrance. Use it sparingly. Don't overspray. But it doesn't last very long. So this gave me about six hours and then I could barely smell it and it becomes a skin scent pretty quick after maybe about an hour or so. It doesn't have the great projection and doesn't have much of a sillage, but the scent is absolutely stunning and um, yeah, I love this one. So glad to have it join my Serge Luton's collection. Oh, you guys, let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to do a review of my Serge Luton's collection. I currently have four of his fragrances. And let me know if you want to see that. The next fragrance I bought is Mont Paris Intense Mint by YSL. And this is a flanker to the original Mont Paris. And so I never really was interested in the original. I had smelled it in stores plenty of time. It just never captured my senses my olfactory senses. It never like really captured my attention and made me want it. So the bottle looks like this. This is so cute. I love the bow. I have to say the bottles on these Montpourri are stunning. I love the color of this juice. It's like this dark hot pink purplish. And uh, so this is a berry fragrance. And uh, this is a new fragrance that launched in 2020. This is a Sheeper Floral. And this has notes of a raspberry, black currant. So you get your berries in here, which has been a trend of 2020. You get orange bergamot, you get pear, freesia, peony, Bulgarian rose, datura, may rose. So you get two types of roses in this. There's also vanilla, white musk, cashmere, and patchouli. I don't get the patchouli much in this one, which is good for me because I'm not a huge fan of patchouli when it's a little bit strong, when it's too much. Spray some on. So initially I get that blast of berries. It smells like a sweet fruit jam. The roses in here are jammy, this has a very synthetic type of scent. It smells very much like a department store. This one just smells extremely artificial and synthetic. Like I said, it smells like a fruit jam with some roses added in there. They're jammy roses. It's a pleasant scent. I think this is definitely a crowd pleaser. This is definitely one that you can wear to every and all occasion. This could definitely be worn year round. I think it's better for this time of year for the colder weather. It is a very heavy, very heady type of scent. It's um, strong, it's potent. I think the lasting power is pretty good on this. It has a nice sillage, it has a nice projection. To me, this smells like a Victoria's Secret body spray. I just get that Victoria's Secret slash department store vibe from this fragrance. This is not my favorite. Of course, it's wearable. It's not terrible. I mean, it smells nice. It's a pretty scent, but I just don't love it. I'm not vibing with it. I'll give it a little bit time and I will get some use out of it. I will continue to wear it and um, see how it works outside and such. This is why I sell Montpourri Intense Mint. So lastly, I have the Good Girl Legier by Carolina Herrera. And this is a flanker of Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. And I'm sure many of you or all of you are very familiar with that stiletto. 
Hey, you guys, look at the shoe. I mean, look at this. This is stunning, stunning. I just love the stiletto. Like, I would just want this on my vanity just because it looks so freaking sexy. Like, how sexy is this? I love this. This makes me think of being all dressed up, wearing all black and wearing these high heels. This is something I would imagine Christian Louboutin coming out with and having the sole all red. How cool would that be? But, and so this one is a little bit different because the original one is all black and it's this lacquer black. This one has a see-through glass right there. So it's a gradient effect. So it goes from being dark to lighter and to completely clear at the toe. This is the 50 mil Eau de Parfum. I have not been a big fan of the original. Again, just like with the Montpuri by YSL, whenever I walked into a store and I would try it, smell it, it just was like, meh, it didn't do it for me. Um, there was just nothing spectacular that like grabbed my attention about it. And then I read reviews on the Legere and people were seeing how much they liked this one, that it was better and that it was fresher smelling. So I decided to, why not? Let me just get this one because I love the bottle. Spray some on. You guys, oh, give me a moment. Whew. So this is definitely a fresh update to the original. I will read the notes of this one to you. This has bright citruses like florals, elangulang, mandarin orange, bergamot, lemon, jasmine, tuberose, rose orange blossom, tonka bean, sandalwood. This also has notes of praline, cinnamon, dulce de leche. Basically those notes of praline and dulce de leche combined with everything else really sold me. And does it smell incredible? This is definitely a more interesting version of the original. I like this one much more. It's fresher, it's not like as heavy. Mm, I love this. So lately I've been putting condensed milk into my coffee instead of creamer. And so Dulce de Leche smells like that. And so this reminds me of that coffee that I drink. If you guys like like a thicker, creamier type of consistency in your coffee, try that condensed milk. I don't get the flavored kind, I just get like the regular condensed milk. I put two teaspoons, it depends how sweet you want it. Oh my God, it's so good. So this gives me that scent. And it also reminds me a little bit of black opium because I guess of that coffee association, maybe. Oh, this is so decadent, so gourmand. This is definitely sexy. And this is definitely date night worthy. You can definitely wear this out and about the town. I think it's perfect for this time of year. This is really nice in the cold weather. It has that soothing, comforting type of feel to it uh, because of the gourmand notes that always brings on that comfort. We think of comfort food and it's sexy at the same time. It's delicious. And uh, the performance on this is really good. This gives me a good eight plus hours. Siage is beautiful, projection is moderate, and um, I love this. I really love this. So I'm so happy that I purchased this one and to add this to my collection and for it to sit there looking sexy on my vanity. So that completes my haul for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these fragrances or have tried them, what you think about them, what you've hauled lately, if any of these are on your wish list. You know the joke. I hope to see you all back here soon. Take care.